would always say, it's just you and me. It's just you and me. And so whatever happened, I would make sure that she was okay and she would make sure that I was okay. I would put her to bed sometimes at night instead of the other way around. So instinctually, I knew that, okay, now I need to make sure that my mother's okay. My dad passed away when I was nine years old. I saw my father take care of my mom, so I just did the things that I saw him do. It was really tough at first because I, a lot of the responsibility went from my dad to my mom, and some of the responsibility fell on me. I started cutting grass at 10 years old. I started cleaning gutters at 10 years old. If I didn't do it, nobody was gonna do it. And I didn't want her to have to pay for anybody to do it. Looking back on it, I know that it was a financial burden, but it never seemed like it. And she always told me that you'll never have to ask anybody for anything. All you have to do is ask them if you want something, tell me and we'll find a way to make that happen. So I told my mother that I'm gonna get a scholarship to go to college. I did everything that I could possibly do so that she would not have to pay for me to go to college. And the day I got my scholarship, I, uh, I got home from school and the letter was in the mail. I opened it up, I was so emotional and I didn't wanna tell anybody until I told my mother because really it was our moment. We celebrated, we cried, I cried, she cried. Not because it was such a surprise, it was something that we did together.